portable electronic devices may continue to be used in airplane mode, but must be secured for the remainder of this flight. Did you miss me? Oh, I love you. Hello everyone, this is Cherie, and I am back from my week-long trip to LA. And it was mainly to close my storage locker, which I did. Um, took a couple trips to Goodwill, a couple trips to the post office. Uh, I had to buy a new big suitcase to pack everything in, but it's closed. Yay. Um, I also got to see some friends that I haven't seen in a while, Jenna and Matt. Um, Dan Feinstein, who co-wrote Frozen Walt with me. And David Bartlett, who participated in a few table reads for me this year. Um, I also got to go to a Hamptons table meeting and had the founder, Mark Zickery, sign his copy, sign, sorry, sign my copy of his book, <laughs> Green Lighting Yourself. And um, yeah, so it was a great time. Oh, it's <laughs> one of the ticket sellers for the bus tours on Hollywood Boulevard recognized me and he said, I was just thinking about you the other day. I, I was wondering, whatever happened to that screenwriter lady? <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Um, but I want to talk about something I didn't talk about in the other videos. The food. L.A. had great food. Novo Cafe in Burbank made one of the best paninis I have ever had. Tiago, on the corner of La Brea and Hollywood, had the gooeyest grilled cheese sandwich and my very first avocado toast, which was amazing. At the Musso and Frank Grill, I ordered the fettuccine Alfredo, made from the original recipe that Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Pickford brought back from Italy. It was gorgeous. The California Pizza Kitchen served a crispy artichoke salad that I could eat over and over again. So good. The Chato Tea Room in the Ovation Center had a cucumber sandwich and pot of tea that reminded me of my trips to England. Scrumptious. And Fanny's at the Academy Museum served an open-faced Norwegian-style lox sandwich, which was glorious. And their wine buyer, Andri, treated me to a glass of fantastic champagne. Even the room service food at the Roosevelt was just fantastic. I had room service three times while I was there. So yeah, great, great food trip all around. <laughs> now, when I go back, uh, one of my Uber drivers told me about two places I need to eat, the California Fish Grill and a Mexican restaurant called Salsa and Beer. So I do plan to go back soon, hopefully within a year, um, stay at the Roosevelt again. I'd like to stay in the Marilyn Monroe suite, which is a cabana she used to live in. Uh, but it's $925 a night, so I think I'm going to have to wait until I sell my first script before I stay in that room. Um, and I want to visit all of the studios, which I didn't get to this time. So, of course, Universal Studios, it's one of my favorites. I, I've gone there a lot. The Harry Potter ride is so great. Um, Warner Brothers Studios, Disney Studios and Paramount Studios. So that'll be my goal for the next trip to do those four studios. Um, but all in all, I just had a great time and thank you for joining me on my journey to LA. I will see you in the next video.